Hello everybody and welcome on today's video. Today we are going to do some uh, refinement work on this uh, juniper. You might recall him from uh, other videos. Um, I changed the pot because, um, well, a few weeks ago uh, there was a lot of wind and the whole thing came down and the brown pot broke. And the only spare I got was this rather ugly green um, pot. But it suits the tree. Uh, quite well um, regarding the growing conditions uh, well it's not very elegant but I'll have to deal with that later but first of all we are going to work on this tree because now it's the uh, end of the winter and if you want to trim a uh, junipers this is uh, a good time to do it so let's take a look uh, at the tree from the top and from all, all uh, sides to see what should be done so this is the top view of the tree and this is uh, the front and we see we have a lot and nice foliage here but if we look at the back we see that it's becoming a little sparse here this is the side and then we have the the back and then we see we lack a whole lot of green now that's because the tree was always turned with the front to the to the sun so if i want to have more green here uh, well uh, there's nothing i can do but turn the tree for a whole year probably and then uh, make sure that this gets a little greener and then turn it every week to uh, distribute the the sunlight so this is something i will have to to think of same here this is a side and well this thick branch is still usable but could be replaced maybe one day by this one um, but I don't want to get rid of this uh, uh, in this stage. I'd like to try to have to some more back budding. So if I want to obtain that, well, I will have to do some uh, cutting. Other interesting things on this tree is um, uh, these little uh, brown uh, knobs you see here. Uh, I think th these are flowers. And well, I don't want uh, this tree to flower, so I think I'll have to remove them because it's going to take a whole lot of energy uh, to get these flowers open. And well, that's not exactly what I need. Now the, the, the tree is filled with it, so it's going to be uh, quite a task to remove them. And I'll do that by pinching uh, just uh, this way. Just get them off. Like so. They're uh, one million four hundred seventy thousand, and uh, well, well, I did not count them all, but quite a lot. Anyway, the main task on this tree is going to be to try to um, define the paths, uh, to get the tree a little more clean, and to be sure that there is uh, as much sunlight uh, as possible uh, entering the tree. So, therefore, I'm just going to use uh, scissors and. Uh, look what's sticking up like this and cutting these pieces away but still leaving some green on every uh, portion and just leaving the, the growth that is going in the right direction And then of course removing these little flowers, which is something I probably won't do uh, completely today. But So if you want to have a, a clean aspect on your tree, you will have to uh, clean up the top, but, and this is probably the most important part, the bottom of your part. So of your pads so if you see things sticking out to the bottom well that's quite sure that you can cut them off and this will define the pads
Some people will tell you we'll have to do that by pension. If you want to do that by pension, then do it by pension. Like so. So this is starting to become a little better. Now, if you look at the bonsai books, most of the time when you are uh, styling a tree for the first time, they tell you to open up the branches and then uh, open up the foliage and things like that. But the problem is they never tell you what to do once this is done. And then most of the time people uh, end up with uh, nothing on top of the branch and just uh, green sticking out. Now, this is okay, this is the first phase, but at one point you must allow the thing to grow up and then round it off. And that's how you create pads. By always removing all the growth on top, you just will have a very thin and uh, unsightly uh, tree. So this is uh, sticking up way too much. This is sticking down. I'm also going to uh, look for uh, some dead material, of course, and get that out. And this branch is, is, is a, a nice branch, but it's a little weak. So I try to position it. And uh, as you see, I have some uh, opening here where this branch can still have light. So I'm going to take a, a piece of, of wire. And the branch is very thin. So aluminum wire will do very well. And I'm going to put this branch where I want it to be. Again, this is not world class wiring. it's holding the branch where I want it to be and that's everything that matters like so now this little part here is very weak but quite close to the trunk, so I'm, I'm going to keep it. Let's see. Yeah. I'm going to put it here on top, maybe it will get more light then. And I'm going to get this branch a little down, so that it doesn't interfere with this one. and then trim it. Some of the branches are uh, growing um, back to the tree. So of course that's something you do not want. And these will have to go. No, there's nothing we can do about that. The tree is becoming a, a little leggy too. So it's about time to, to cut it. And if you see good foliage uh, close to the, the trunk, well, you can cut back a little more. Now junipers, they get their strength from the, the sunlight, well most of the trees does of course, but these are really uh, sun lovers. And once they are growing, it's best to do uh, as little as possible to these trees. Okay, so this portion might be a good example of what I'm trying to do. You see, there is... Uh, a piece of uh, foliage coming out here 
and two of these are going outside and one of this is going uh, right to the top so I'm going to get rid of that and leaving these two which are growing in the, the good direction so hopefully these are the flowers so hopefully little things like this get more sunlight now and will grow better same uh, here you see this is quite flat but this is going way too high so I'm going to cut that back and trying to leave always a portion of something that is growing in the, the right direction like like this one this is okay this one is not okay so same here this way we are trying to get this a little more structure and define the paths but of course this whole part will we have to um, to get more light and again uh, I know some people will be yelling that you should pinch this uh, so I say uh, yeah we'll pinch it can do both okay so I'm going to work around my way uh, of the top of this tree and then we'll have a look at the cascading branch so I've been uh, cutting and pinching for the last 30 minutes and as you see we're starting to get some structure some more uh, defined paths that's a slow work But in the end, the tree is going to look a whole lot cleaner. So I'm just going on. I cannot, of course, film every cut I make and do some um, comments on it. It would become very boring, but I hope you, you can see what I'm meaning here. So I'll be back when I, well, when this is uh, finally done. I like to work with junipers, uh, not because I like the trees uh, a whole lot. I, I think I'm going to, well, slow down on the conifers. I like more the, the deciduous trees. I understand them better. I think conifers are really difficult. But I, I like junipers because of the smell. It just smell nice when you when you work with that. So I'm uh, done with uh, the top part, the upgoing part of the tree. And as you see, the, 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 the pets are a lot better defined. Of course, this is not perfect and the tree is not finished. Uh, luckily, I would say because a, a finished tree is a, is a dead tree and that's what we do not want so now it's time to uh, work on the cascading branch so this is the front and then uh, when we follow the, the branch uh, I'll have to turn the tree a little you see that uh, well we have a few branches coming out of the main trunk and then it's starting to become uh, really messy uh, and there's the branches everywhere so I'll have to do the same uh, with every branch that I did on the top part removing what's going straight down, removing what's dead so I'm starting with the down facing parts which will give me some 
better uh, look everything that's going straight down has to go and this will be a, a good start to define these pads of course you can wire all this stuff but if you can do it by by cutting it it's a whole lot uh, less work and in the end the result will be a quite stable uh, tree with not too much what's this oh that's strange not, not too much uh, unnatural curves this is getting very long very laggy so I think I have to take a decision here and uh, just cut back quite a a big portion here so I'll work my way uh, around and first do some big cuts and then afterwards I'll see what I have to cut back more. These things are entangled. It's because this is becoming way too big. Way too long. And I need to have this green getting more to the center of the tree. This is a huge branch growing down. I'm going to remove it partly by just getting this piece away. Same here. And this will make it a whole uh, thing. grow better because more light will come into the tree so um, I'm going to continue getting off what's going straight down and then see what is going straight up Maybe I'll wire some branches because, well, I cannot afford to lose this one if I cut back the whole thing here. So I'm going to cut that one here, save this one, and maybe wire it. These are just thin wires. So I'll see you in uh, 10 minutes to see what progress I made. So I'm done uh, cutting and pinching. And as you see I'm just wiring a last little branch here. Didn't have to do a whole lot of them. But this was uh, a branch that I could not really uh, trim because there would be nothing left. And it would be a shame to, to lose this branch, so I'm going to support it a little so that it stays more or less flat. Like so. And we'll have a look at uh, the tree now. So I'm rather happy, of course, it's uh, a lot more sparse than it was before, but that's, that's what happens when you trim a tree. But I think the pads are nicely uh, lined out now and there is lots of room for the, 
for the sun to, to hit the foliage, I did remove maybe 20% of the foliage, so that's really not too much for a juniper. And as I said, um, this is the front, but I'm going to uh, keep the tree now with the back to the sun so that it can grow uh, better in this uh, in this area and uh, well that's that's basically it so uh, thank you for watching and see you next time